Hey guys, so I have this many days until my deadline. I have one deadline here and I have another deadline here. And basically what I've decided to do is I've gotten all of these <laughs> sticky notes and I'm basically gonna split all of what I have to do equally onto those days so that I can at least have like a bit of a guide as to how I'm gonna go about it. Okay, let's go. I'm so tired. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall Hello everybody, it is currently 8.20 in the evening and I have been working all day about to, um, my brain's about to explode but I made myself a promise that if I finish this section of my report in half an hour I would treat myself to boba and that's what I'm doing. I finished the section. So now I kind of was like, I can't be bothered to go outside, but, but I promised myself and I'm kind of craving it. I just don't want to walk 10 minutes, but I think I can, I think I should go out and get some fresh air because I literally haven't left the house properly in the, in a week, no, four or five days. So I think it'll be good for me to go outside. Just walking to Boba now. Just a reminder to treat yourself sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of cold. I get it. It's so cold though. Like, I can't hold it with my bare hands. <sighs> Yay! I made a home with my boba. Woo! My boba outfit is my Burberry scarf. I love ugly hoodie. This is John's, but I have it. Nike sweats and Uggs. Okay. I am back home with my brother this is kind of sticky i need to wash my hair as well this is my drink now that my nails are all broken except for these two it looks ridiculous now i can open these yeah my usual order if i'm not feeling experimental it's always strawberry sparkling aid with lychee jelly Less ice, half sugar is usually my go-to order. Mix, mix, mix. I don't like milk tea. Don't come for me. But I don't really love milk tea, but I love fruit tea. Mm. So, uh, I've been working on my luxury brand management report all day because my research and consumer behavior report is actually okay. I can get what I need to get done by my tutorial, which is Thursday and today is Monday. And I was a little bit more behind on the luxury brand management um, report. So I spent the whole day doing that. I think I've made some good progress. I'm still behind from the like... Remember I did that? Yeah, I'm still, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit behind, but that was expected. So I actually didn't plan much for tomorrow. 
and I knew that I would be behind because I was a little bit optimistic about how much I could get done each day. So I've left tomorrow to catch up on everything that I want to catch up on. So I'm going to relax for about half an hour while I drink this because I, I need a break. I haven't had a break all day. I woke up in the morning, had some coffee and didn't eat and just worked all the way up until like 5 p.m. until I got so hungry that I got I started getting hangry. Because I was kind of getting in the flow of things, I didn't want to break it by eating. So I I didn't eat the whole day until I got really hungry. So like I'm, my holiday brain is slowly leaving me, thank God. <laughs> I just had a shower it is currently like 1am and I can't sleep I am reading through so I printed out all the materials that I have to read for my mock exam tomorrow let's get to work I'm so sorry for dreaming about the future But today is the day, the mock exam. I'm gonna dye my hair. Ah, it's 9.50. I wonder if they've uploaded it. Oh, shocker. They haven't uploaded it. Classic. I will do my assessment paper and I'll get back to you in an hour and a half. Okay, so my mock exam is finished. I thought I would finish a little bit before the hand in time, but I handed it in like literally the minute that it had to ha be handed in by <laughs> so luckily everything was fine and i handed it in on time but it means that i now am running a little bit late and i have absolutely no time to do my makeup now it is time for me to go meet leah in somerset house watch watch house cafe to interview her and then I will go to Selena's at night to interview her and her place. But yeah, let's go. My summer's at house now. I've actually never been here before, so I have no idea where this is. Found it. It's over there. This is where John and I would have skated if it didn't pour down with rain the other day. Hi. Is the interview starting? John wasn't in any of it. Why not? I was like, he doesn't. Want, he didn't want to be um, face revealed because. Um, he was like, we have to keep it a mystery and you have to do an actual face reveal. And I was like, John, you're like literally all over social media because he streams. Yeah. <laughs> but then he was like, no, 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 do it. And I was like, okay, fine. And then so I had to crop out all of John's face. And this is funny. We're here for the interview. My, my friend is here. Are you happy with your toast? I'm so happy. Call my toast. <laughs> That was the most tragic thing I've ever done. That's, ah, oh, that's so, why did I just do that? If you're ever doing a project where you have to transcribe interviews or any sort of um, recorded 
material and you have to transcribe them. Um, this program called Otter AI, like the Otter the Animal dot AI, um, is really good for transcribing interviews and stuff. That is what I'm doing right now. I'm transcribing. Well, this is transcribing, so I don't have to type out a 30 minute interview. It is the night before my tutorial and I'm making popcorn and it's 1am. Yay! I just completed my last interview for all my deadlines. Yay! And now I'm just uploading it to Otter AI to transcribe. <sighs> I've been having the most chaotic sleeping patterns for the past couple of days. I'm finished getting ready. I just have about an hour until I have to leave to go meet my friend for dinner. But I wanted to take this time to show you something. So you guys already know that I have this Logitech Lift vertical mouse and I love it. Um, I got converted to vertical mouse, mice, mouse, when I bought this Lift. And I always knew that I liked the vertical mouse, but I never really had a mouse of my own because I only owned max so i just used like the keyboard and the mouse that came with that when i started using pcs as well i was like i want a pretty mouse and so i got this one when i came to london which i love but one of the things that i don't really it gives me anxiety about this mouse is that it's white they do have it in black but just the white one looks so much better than the black one so i'm just like always worried about staining it because obviously I use it all the time, I use it every day, all day. So like I always wash my hands before I use it. I make sure I'm not like touching anything like makeup. But I got this mouse and basically this is custom painted by Leonardo de Mouse. That is his Instagram name. And I just, I got it a while ago, but because I've been in deadlines, like... I just haven't had the time to open it and actually like appreciate it. So I got this um, custom um, colored with this photo. So I wanted like this themed, this color themed mouse for some reason. I don't know why. Oh my God. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, look how pretty it is. Oh my god, it's so nice. So I have pink on the two um, clicks. And I got green on top. I have this beige and everything else like a side button and every this button and stuff is white. Oh my god. I love it. Look how pretty it is. It's so nice. And this mouse is called, can't remember what this mouse is called. Actually, is it at the bottom? Oh no. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I literally have the box like right here. The Deluxe M618C. This is, this mouse is literally like 20 pounds or something. It's so much cheaper than this Logitech Lift. I'm so excited to use it. This is like, because it's like a lot cheaper, um, I know that I can use this a lot more comfortably than the Logitech one. And also the reason I did a beige is because of that reason, because this was used to be white. I know that it's not gonna discolor unless I do something stupid. So yeah, thank you so much. And I'm gonna link Leonardo's details in the description box and he takes commissions to do these custom um, colored mice you can basically design it yourself you will have to choose a mouse that is not like this like this has rubber on it so that's why like he couldn't really do this one um custom paint this one which is fine i also have a viper ultimate back at home in sydney that he also custom painted for me but this is so pretty and i because i got into vertical 
um, mice. Like, this is so much better. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it now. If you want your mouse custom painted like this, you want like a little bit of change up, or you want to color match your keyboard, color match your desk aesthetic. Yay! I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put batteries in. Whoop. Turn it on. Ooh, it lights up. I wonder if I can change that actually. Your girl needs instructions. Oh, maybe this doesn't, maybe this doesn't have um, Bluetooth. Maybe I have to do the um, USB, which is fine. Oh my God, it's working. Forward key and the backward key at the same time for three seconds. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh my god i'll show you what it looks like yay this is what it looks like on my table yay oh oh i'm playing something whoops everyone stop stop this stop stop i love it i actually love it so much it's so cute i like it with the snow i do maybe the green doesn't go as well with it but that's okay i love it Okay, I am now going to meet my friend for dinner. Oh wait, no. No, you can't? The, the, the star needs to be on this side. <laughs> wait. Wait, did I do it? <gasps> it's turning. <laughs> it's turning. It's turning my meat. Turn it, turn it. I am back home now from dinner and I'm trying to decide if sprinkles <laughs> what the heck I'm trying to decide if I need a little bit of a break and just just sleep or like just turn my mind off for a little bit or if I should start working I'm in a dilemma right now i'm probably gonna end this vlog here it's just been so hectic trying to get all my deadlines and my reports done before next week i have one due on tuesday and one due on thursday and i'm making good progress there will be no problem finishing them but i'm just a little bit just a little bit burnt out i think but i think that's quite normal there's nothing to film because all i've done is just like sit here work eat and then sleep and then work and then eat and then sleep <laughs> that's my life i'm so excited um for this these projects to finish because as soon as they finish i have a lot of really exciting projects coming up next week on thursday i will be starting my new job at a fashion tech startup so I will be sure to film that when I go to the meeting and meet the team next Thursday. Also, all the startup and entrepreneurial competitions that I'm entering and the deadline is February. So as soon as these projects are over, I have to switch to making my proposal and my pitch deck for my business ideas. I am gonna start my new job, so I'm gonna go there as well. So I'll be filming a lot of like, non-uni content but i think it's a lot more exciting than uni content because i just want to get out of here i'm so done with uni i just want to get me out of here i don't want to be here anymore <laughs> so thank you so much for watching today i hope everyone's had a good week and if anyone else is in their deadline or exam period i'm with you it's almost finished like push through i only have a week like not even a week until everything's done. I'm so excited. So let's go guys, we can do it. I'm so proud of you, uni students. Yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye. You will